Today is going to be awesome because we get to answer one of our very important questions in history. Do you remember our very important questions in history? In case you don't, I am here to remind you. Another important question that I think is very interesting. You know, America 500 years ago, mm -hmm. there were no white people or black people either. That's right. America now. Buku white people, buku black people, what's the deal? And even more importantly, why? Why did these people cross the ocean? America. That's what we're going to talk about today. I don't know if you realize, but we're actually going to answer that question. How did white people arrive in America? Okay. Now, first, if we're going to talk about the history of America, before we talk about white people, we need to talk about the Native Americans because the history of America started with Native Americans. All right. So this is a timeline. We're going to talk more about timelines later, but basically it shows time in a line, earliest, latest, and actually here is about nowadays. And Native Americans were the only ones in North America until about right here. All of this time, Native Americans were the only ones in North and South America. No Europeans, no Africans, no other people. And you know what? For some reason, we don't really talk about them. Actually, I'm kind of supposed to skip over them. I can't help it, though. I'm going to talk about them. So let's not waste any time. Let's talk about some Native Americans. Now, I'm just going to talk for about two or three minutes. You can put your pencil down. Okay, put your pencil down. I don't want you doodling. Now, this map shows us different Native American tribes and Native American cultures. I show us this because oftentimes we think that Native Americans were all the same. But actually, they were very different. They had different art forms, and they had different homes, and they had different languages. Okay, Now, sometimes they adapted in similar ways. So the tribes in the northeast and the northwest both had a lot of trees and lumber around them. Those were their natural resources. So naturally, they built their homes out of logs. It just made sense. Well, in the Great Plains and the deserts of the southwest, you don't really have those resources. So people built their homes out of buffalo skins or clay. And so that's about what I'm supposed to teach about Native Americans, that they adapted to their environment. But I want to tell you a little bit more about them because they really have complex cultures. Look at all of these different languages that were being spoken by Native Americans in North America. This is just North America. South America had many languages as well. Now, it didn't stop there because when you see Native Americans in movies or in pictures, you mostly see them and they almost look like cavemen running around half naked chasing animals. Well, that doesn't do them justice. They actually were very sophisticated people. In fact, you don't hear about it much, but here is um, a picture of some Native American writing. They actually had written languages, some tribes. Also, here's a picture of Native American cities. When we think of cities, we think of New York City and New Orleans and these cities that were started by Europeans and white people. But actually, Native Americans had their own cities. These down in Mexico. This one was the, one of the biggest cities in the world around the time of Jesus. The, oh, the Puebloans? Don't get me started. The Puebloans, they built their cities like into cliffs. Cliff cities? Are you serious? Awesome. Also, the Mississippian culture, they had some really cool ones. This is what historians think it looked like. Now, this isn't just cavemen running around chasing animals. They had sophisticated cities with villages, all the huts, the walls, the mounds. It's beautiful. And they had farms, and they had sophisticated farming techniques that allowed them to feed all these people. Now, we don't talk much about Native Americans, even though they took up most of American history. Why do you think that is? Well, let's look at a short graph that I think will show us most of our answer. When we look at the Congress, which is the legislature, part of our government, we see that most of it is white. Maybe these people don't understand how important Native American culture is because it's not as much part of their history. All right. How did this change? Well, it all changed when Christopher Columbus came to America. Now, Christopher Columbus wasn't the first European to come to America, but he was the one that really paved the way for a huge flood of Europeans to come into America.
And so today we're going to start talking about the European explorers. That part of the video, I was supposed to cover about the last 10,000 years of history, 9,500 years. This part, I'm going to cover about 500 years, okay? So I had to stick like 9,000 years into like a little few minutes, okay? Now we're going to talk about the European explorers. Now, we're going to talk about why they decided to go from Europe to North America. What would make a person leave their home and family and risk it all on the open ocean? The Europeans left their homelands in the 1400s and the 1500s for three reasons. God. They wanted to spread the Christian religion and expand their Christian kingdoms. They wanted to open up churches and tell people about Jesus. Glory. They wanted to be famous and admired. And gold. They thought they could get wicked rich by trading in China. China and India and the islands in those areas grew many spices worth a lot of money. That's what the Europeans were after. So Europeans were used to trading this way to get to Asia. But even though it looks like not that long, this is a map of the entire world, and that's a very long trip. Also, they didn't have cars. They didn't have trains. They didn't have airplanes. You had to do it all with your camels, with your feet, with your horses. Also, there were taxmen along the way and said, oh, you want to pass? You want to trade? I want to cut. Then they get over here. Oh, you want to trade? I want to cut. Oh, you want to trade? I want to cut. The Europeans were tired of this. They wanted these Asian spices, and they wanted to cut out the middleman. Well, they had a plan. They were going to go from Europe over here, and they were going to sail across the ocean around the world and get to Asia. One little hiccup in the plan is they didn't know there was two continents in the way. And they ran into those continents and discovered them, even though there were already na millions of Native Americans living there. They found out that they existed for the very first time. So let's review. Why did these people originally go? They weren't, they found it on accident. What were they really looking for? Well, they were trying to spread the religion. They were trying to give glory to themselves and their countries. And they were trying to get gold and be rich. Just like this guy, Christopher Columbus, remember? He set sail looking for riches to bring back to the king of queen of Spain. Now, is this an example of God, glory, or gold? Ooh, trick question. Gold and glory. He wanted to bring the king and queen glory, also wanted gold. Ferdinand Magellan, he searches for a passage to the Pacific Ocean because he wanted to be the first crew to circumnavigate or go around the world. Is this for God, glory, or gold? Glory, he wants to be the first. Now let's look at some of the most important explorers. Now I want you to remember, notice the differences between Europeans and Native Americans, all right? The Native Americans had somewhat darker skin. Most of the Europeans had lighter skin. Europeans also have beards. Native Americans don't. All right. Christopher Columbus, he sailed for the country of Spain. His goal was to find a western route to the east. That's China and the Spice Islands. Now, his accomplishments is he started the European conquest of America. That means he was the very first to start all these Europeans traveling from Europe to America. Now, let's take a minute and copy this information on your card. Find Christopher Columbus. You only need the bold parts. Also, I want you to turn your card over. And you see there's a little map for Christopher Columbus. I want you to take that map, turn it to the side, and you see a map of Europe, Africa, and North America with the Atlantic Ocean in the middle. What I want you to do is I want you to draw the route he took from Europe to North America on your card. It's going to look like this. I'm on my way to Asia, and bonk, there's America. All right, that'll do. 